Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you never miss out on any future videos. <clears throat> For today's video, it is gonna be a different kind of video. It's gonna be more of an update from my cryotherapy experience. If you have not seen that video, I highly recommend you go see it. Super short, won't take you so long. Go ahead and click over here on the side. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and just update you guys with my experience, also with things that I liked, I didn't like, tips and tricks, and also maybe just a little bit more of information that you might not know. I found out when I went to go get my pap smear, uh, usually during a pap smear, they do the little scalpel where they open you, and with the swab, they swab inside your, your cervix or inside your walls and they kind of like scrape cells to collect and go and test them. They found some abnormalities, so what they did is they called me back in, they did a biopsy. So with the biopsy, they're basically gonna cut off little pieces of my cervix, um, literally the tiniest little hair, the tiniest little hair, the tiniest little piece of cell. Uh, imagine those little things on the side of your skin or the side of your nail that comes up literally that small yeah so when they did the little biopsy i literally swear it sounded like when you cut fabric with scissors like like that and oh my god it felt like a, a fast period cramp but anyway they took out three samples tiniest thing they sent them out to the lab and what they told me is that uh, it kept coming irregular on their thing but when they were like doing the what is it called when they look inside you, like kind of like an ultrasound, but it's with a wand, they put it in you, inside you and they kind of can see. The doctor said that everything looked normal, but either way, they were still gonna send me for treatment just in case. Um, okay, so now we're at the cryotherapy experience. And basically what they're gonna do is freeze my cervix with a nitrogen. It's like a wand with a flat head that's gonna go against your cervix for about, I think, a minute or two um, with nitrogen, and they do it two times. <clears throat> so about a minute or two, uh, it's the doctor and then the assistant, the assistant's taking the time, and she's just kinda like guiding you through it, asking you if you're okay. I didn't feel any pain or any coldness. Since it is nitrogen, you would think that it was cold. <clears throat> he did tell me that I might feel cold, but I did it. So, um, yeah, there was no pain, not the first time, not the second time. And then it was literally done after those two times of two minutes. So, like, maybe like a five, ten minute process inside that little office. <clears throat> um, and, yeah, so we're done with it. The doctor tells me that I'm going to experience some discharge, that that's normal. And to make an appointment to get my pap smear again in like four months. So then I leave the freaking office. I don't have any kind of pain except for like I have to take a big shit. Like, you know how like when you've been holding it for so long, you're like, oh my God, I'm going to go right now. That's how it felt. <clears throat> but it wasn't necessarily like cramps. It was more just like, gosh, I need to go to the restroom now. Um, but later that night, I did have an extremely raging headache. It was to the point where I had to fall asleep and call it quits for the day. So that was kind of like a downer. Because I hate feeling any kind of like not normalness. Um... And my discharge, it was very fluid-like. You know, discharge, you think it's like very like gummy-like, thick, but it's not. This one was more fluid, like liquidy, um, and it was yellow. I'll go ahead and insert a picture. <clears throat> but yeah, it was basically like water discharge. It wasn't even thick. And then after about a week or two, my discharge was still a liquidy, and it started to become dark and with a very foul odor to the point where I was literally embarrassed with myself from like how disgusting it smelled. Um, I asked my doctor and they said that that's normal because it's due to the dead skin cells uh, falling off of the cervix. So kind of imagine a decomposing body, but not as extreme. Um, and then I literally experienced 
experienced that for a whole month, literally a whole entire month. Uh, I don't remember how long they told me it was going to last, but I experienced it for a whole month. It was like the worst time ever in my life, but I'm so glad and blessed that I work from home, so I was able to be in the comfort of my own home. And tips that I would give you guys, if you can and you are able to, I would recommend to take a whole month off of work, off of school, or whatever you're doing. If you can, that would be amazing, just because, like I said, it smells so bad, like, like so bad and it was to the point where every movement that I made if I was sitting in my car if I reached over I felt like I smelled not that I felt I could smell it and like it was just miserable <clears throat> also another tip is to buy adult diapers because buy adult diapers because um it's just gonna save you a lot of money and honestly you're gonna be changing your pad so often from how disgusting it smells uh you're gonna want to be changing it often girl trust me and for the night it's best if you just buy the adult diapers because since you are laying down it is gonna flow easier since it's more liquidy than thick discharge um also a key tip is to be gentle with yourself like i said you will smell gross horrendous at least in my experience that's how it went and you are just gonna feel a little bit miserable so that's normal don't feel bad be nice to yourself remember it's normal and etc etc and also keep up your annual checkups with your gynecologist because if it wasn't for me going to the gynecologist i would have never known i didn't have any pain before or anything i didn't experience any weird symptoms i honestly could not know unless i had gotten my annual um and then also this is a disclaimer this was just my experience everyone does go through different experiences and or has it more severe i didn't have it as severe um to the point where it was a big issue they caught it on time or at least super early and for this video, I want you to just take it as my experience and advice that I'm trying to give you, maybe to help you feel more at ease with this process, because I know I definitely was super scared when I was like, what, like I could have cancer and all this, but I'm here to let you know not to worry. It's going to be a good process. Um, and that's basically it, what I wanted to tell you guys and update you guys on. I had like a bunch of notes on my phone. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning into this video and watching this update. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Feel free to ask anything. Don't be shy. I'll comment back, reply to every comment. Um, and yeah, thank you guys. Till next time. Nobody needs to know. Surrender to the grief Nobody needs to know Let go We steer it and create rings We make something out of nothing If you believe, hold on tight Scream into the night Make it all glow Dress up the shit inside it's your